how many units he can get out with so few uh, drones mining. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but he has managed to get out a decent army uh, um, at, at both locations as natural expansion and outside. And those cracklings are going to be able to get... Oh, man. Storm... Not even a storm drop. Just the High Templar just spotting with an observer able to get the attack in there. But cracklings even able to take out a... Uh, 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 Archon, but but Jelizer is not in good shape here because he's low. Oh my gosh, he's going in for a drop though. If he can take out this main, but I don't think he's gonna be able to do it against that many. If he gets a swarm down, get a swarm down, get a swarm down, get a swarm down. Where's the swarm? Where's the swarm? Where's the defiler? Where's the defiler? He's like the... Just got cracklings and hydros. I think he is gonna be able to take out that main. Um, maybe. A lot of uh, buildings in the way, so he's not going to be able to get back there to save this in time. But he's having to kill off a lot of cannons, so it's going to take a while for him to get those tech buildings. A lot of cannons in that back there. He's just going to leave that alone. Some zealots are coming in there. He really just needs to target down a good tech building or something like that. And uh, and try and delay, maybe kill the Templar Archives would be a good idea. But he's just going to uh, pick up his uh, Hydralis, apparently, was it what it looks like. Good idea by Jelizerk. That's exactly what he needs to do, is try and do some drops, catch him off guard. Brittany has four bases, though, uh, to Jelizerk's four bases. It's not a good position for the Zerg to be in, and, and, and uh, Jelizerk has just been fighting for his life for so long now. Plus three weapons, by the way, on the ground for, for Brittany. So these Zealots are so effective. The Archons are super super powerful right now and uh, I don't know what the upgrades are exactly on the ground units for Jelizerk he's got two carapace so it's not going to do well against the plus three weapons um, I don't know what his attack oh he's at 2-2 two, two. Jelizerk's at 2-2 two, two right now um, he's got somehow he's able to get a decent army he's going to need to get some plagues down on these zealots or something like that nice around here coming in uh oh storm bait storm bait storm bait nice storm uh, actually doesn't kill as many of those zerglings as he could have but he does do a decent amount of damage the look at that plague kills off some units but not as many as it could have as well so he's Jelizer needs to be a little bit more cost effective than this. He's sending out tons of cracklings though, and he's spending a lot of money on cracklings. He's building mostly cracklings at this point, so he might be saving up for ultralis. I don't know if he has an ultralis cavern or something like that, but um, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Those cracklings here being able to kill off those morphing archons. Just beautiful. Uh, I don't know if he's saving up for, for ultralists or something like that, but he's not been spending a ton of gas. He has been spending some defilers, um, spending on some defilers and some hydralisks, but I wouldn't be surprised if he had a cache of, of gas that he's saving up for, for something like ultralisks or something along those lines, because that's kind of his only hope right now is to come out with something something big. And what is my computer doing? It just went to the monitor and went to sleep for a moment there. Anyway, um... Wow, this is amazing. And Brittany is taking the 6 o'clock base. Taking the 6 o'clock base, that is not good for Jelizerk at all. He's just going to get... He's playing super, super well. He's just absolutely ridiculously well. He's getting massive amounts of forces out somehow, some way. He's getting tons of forces out in the field and playing really, really effectively and, and winning battles. I don't know how he's winning these battles. Completely honest, I have no idea how he's winning these battles. But somehow he has been winning the battles. But... He's just going to get out macroed eventually if he can't kill off some of Brittany's bases. Here he comes in. This is going to be really dangerous. He's got his uh, lurkers clumped up. He needs to clear out his lurkers. They get stormed. Several lurkers get some damage on them at once with uh, the lurkers being clumped up. He's got a swarm coming somewhere. Possibly a plague. He's moving in. But he needs to not clump up his lurkers. The lurkers get a swarm underneath. But the storm goes off on those lurkers. And oh, oh my god. Those storms doing so much damage. So much damage happening to those lurkers. Oh, oh, that was disgusting. If he hadn't, if he hadn't, oh, if he hadn't clapped his lurkers clumped up like that, he could have done so much damage there. But he didn't. I don't know what he was thinking there. Jelizerg. Oh man, he's never been good at dodging storms. It's always been a weakness of his. He's gonna go in with a defiler this time for an attack at the, at the main base here. Uh, but he's only he's not gonna be able to do a whole lot there, except maybe take out some tech buildings. If he could take out those gateways though, maybe if he could take out the gateways and the Templar archives, he could do some. Where's the swarm? Swarm goes. Yeah, there's the swarm right there. But there's some zealots in the mix. He gets in there, he kills the cannon, but he really needs to kill some buildings, some major buildings if he's going to do much. A little attack here going in, but a strong attack. He's got a few archons and some zealots going into natural expansion here. I don't know if Jelizer has the army to deal with this right now. He's bringing his armies back to rally to the high ground at the top left. He's bringing them back. Crackling's coming in. He gets a good surround. Actually, and he's going to try and attack, but no, why is he not killing off the Templar? The Templar don't even get storms down, though. He doesn't even need to use Psystorm on that group of Zerglings, so he's able to use it on just a few drones, and I think Brittany just knows that he has it won at this point. Oh, 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 this is just, this is brutal. Look at that, 17 kill Archon, 20 kill Archon, partly from, from Storms, but still. Uh, Zealot with one kill. You got some catching up to do, Zealot. 
before you're in the uh, double digits kill squad club. 26 kills on that Archon. There's GG coming from July Zerg. Oh man, July Zerg has been eliminated from the MSL. Oh. oh, it's too bad. It's too bad. Brittany's going to go on to the final match now. He's going to face uh, a, a very arguably even stronger Zerg player in Zero in the final game before he can advance to the MSL. And he's going to have his work cut out for him because Zero, uh, like I said, very, very strong player here. And it's going to be on uh, Triathlon as well. Uh, so, wow. So nicely played by Brittany, i got to say. He played that very well. And uh, July Zerg played incredibly well and incredibly entertainingly, but could not pull it off. So GG, thanks for watching. Let's move on to the last game.